If there's one thing I notice time and time again whenever I'm playing ranked, it is the crazy number of people I see taking gunfights without using any of their utility. It feels like every match I see at least one person just runs straight into the building and they'll die from some Jaeger or a Vigil or someone sat in a rat corner and then they'll complain in the game chat something like, oh why are you there? What are you doing? But they've got drones in their pockets. Just drone, like you got drones, use the drones. <sighs> Siege is a game where the smallest mistakes can have a massive, massive snowball effect and an impact on the round. So seeing as we're probably getting an influx of new players from the free weekend, and with the new season Operation Steel Wave right around the corner, let's sit down and have a chat about the best thing you can do to be a better player. So if I was to boil it down to a single tip or piece of advice, whether you're brand new to the game or whether you're a plat ranked or even higher, the number one thing between an average player and a good player is your ability to maximize your utility during a round. This is everything from using both of your drones efficiently, using your secondary gadget to do whatever's needed like burning Jaeger's ADSs and MMI's frisbees, essentially just being able to get the absolute max out of whatever operator you're playing. Everyone loves to laugh at the insta pick Ash mains, but when she's played properly, Ash can be super useful. So what do I mean by played properly? Well, for one, she can burn utility with her flashbangs, her breaching rounds are invaluable for destroying deployable shields, evil eyes, bulletproof cam, etc. As well, she obviously has one of the better guns in the game to just go in and frag out. The thing is, it's just so easy to pick Ash and sprint through the nearest door to sight to try and get a cool clip. But without doing any work to help clear the defender utility or to help your team set up for an execute onto site, you're essentially putting your team at a 4v5 every single round. Especially in such a defender sided meta like we're in, the attackers need every bit of utility that they can get their hands on. So you just running into the building to get a kill or two and dying without helping your team is often going to hurt more than it helps. So when you're playing Siege, keep in mind that you should always be trying to use your utility to not only weaken the defender's setup, but also to just help you win your gunfights. Whether you're playing fragging ops like Zofia and Ash and can use your stuns so they can't shoot back as easily, or if you're on defense, instead of taking one-on-one -on -one gunfights, think to yourself, can you try and play vertically with a nitro cell? Can you open up some different lines of sight so you're not playing in a predictable position? Whether you're solo or in a stack with your friends, learning how to play your operators properly and recognizing the operators that your team might need, like if no one's taking a third and you're attacking bank, that knowledge is way more useful than just playing an Ash or a Zofia or a Twitch because they go brrrr and they can get kills. This is the kind of thing you always hear players say when they're solo queuing, it's Oh, my team sucks, no one ever plays with the right operators, Where <laughs> my teammates make me lose, I would be diamond but my teammates suck when I solo queue. But then that same person will go on to play Ash or Twitch or Zofia or some fragging operator and they'll be the first one to die every round. Siege is a game that at a high level is won and lost based on the smallest mistakes and details and stuff like bad drone work if you're droning a room and miss drone a defender that ends up killing your teammate, misuse utility like not clearing an evil eye that's covering where your team is pushing from, not picking their correct operators to attack the bomb site as I said like not picking a hard breach when attacking bank or clubhouse or any map like that. All of these things can have huge consequences consequences on the round that can ultimately snowball and cost your team the game. The things with Siege is that within any given situation, there's so much you can do to give yourself an upper hand when taking a fight with someone, whether it's as simple as stunning them with a Zephyr or an Ash, or forcing them out of position with Capitals Firebolts or a Frag Grenade from Sledge, to even just attacking their position vertically with a Bark or a Zephyr or whoever, if you can use your utility and your map knowledge to outplay your opponent, you're going to have a far easier time fragging out your opponents and winning those rounds for your team. So I figure all this talk of using your utility to clear corners, clear out defenders and things like that, I figure what better way than to actually jump into a clip taken from my stream the other day. By the way, we do stream every Tuesday and Saturday. So this was taken from my last stream and we, it's a pretty decent example of exactly what I've been talking about for this entire video. So as you can see, we're attacking Oregon and we're going to basically be trying to take control of Attic. So obviously, whoever's playing inside of Attic is going to hear me open that window with the sledgehammer and so I choose to then throw my drone in through the kid's window. I do this because then when whoever's playing an Attic right here doesn't see my drone and if he does it's too late because I've already got the information that I need. So that's also a useful tip for you. If you're droning an area try to drone not where you're pushing from right? So I see the smokes playing here and I see smokes trying to swing the window to just try and get an angle. Bear in mind there's 30 seconds left in the round. 
So I know he's going to be trying to looking for kills here, especially in a 5v3. I know he's, I know he's going to be playing cocky. Let's see what I do. So, instead of trying to take the, the straight one-on-one -on -one gunfight, I use my frag grenade to clear the corner and force the smoke away. This way, I can jump in and get a free easy frag. So, we saw he's, he's playing aggressively on this corner. I thought to myself, well, if I'm going to jump in here, he's probably going to be holding my angle on the window, and I'm probably going to lose the fight, right? So, we use the frag grenade, we clear the corner, and then as it explodes, we can jump in and we can catch him back in this rotation, which is exactly what we managed to do. Yeah, I managed to get a decently lucky shot hit by a headsetting him there, kind of. But still, the point stands. We drone him for information, we figure out what he's doing, and he's in a very defender side. He, he, if I try to jump through this window here straight without just clearing it with, a, with my grenade, He's going to win that gunfight 9 out of 10 times. I know I'm a great shot, but I'm not that good. So instead, I use all of my kit to my advantage. I realize I've got two frag grenades and I go, okay, well, let's force him off this corner. I wait for it to explode here. And then as soon as it explodes, I'm through the window, catching him in his rotation. Even if he's not throwing a smoke canister there, I might take a, I might take a bullet or two, but he's not expecting me to be that far through the window at that point in time. And then this enables me to go on. I can then push through Attic and I get a second kill on this Jaeger here in Bedroom because I've managed to take Attic control by myself. Then there we go. And then we win the round. So that is a perfect example of exactly how to use your utility to your, to your advantage. Even if you're playing with frag grenades, you don't necessarily need to get the kill with them. You can just use them to clear angles for yourself. Anyway, that about wraps up today's video. I hope you all learned something and enjoyed the video. As a reminder, I am now back streaming live on Twitch every Tuesday and Saturday, as I mentioned. So if you want to chat about anything Siege related, whether that's competitive play or any of the new Pro League stuff that's coming, the new season, anything, make sure to drop a follow over there, as I will be streaming later on this evening. We also have a Discord you guys can join that's full of awesome people like yourselves. And as well, I'm also on all the different social medias, Twitter, Instagram, etc. So if you want, you can drop a follow on any of those as well. Links, of course, as always, are in the description down below. And as always, happy gaming. Nice and quiet.